Good morning, my little adventurers. We are on day four of our trip to Washington, D.C. Today we are going to Six Flags America, which is in the D.C. Baltimore area. I've never been to this one. It kind of looks almost like um, Darien Lake. So that's kind of cool. I can't wait to see it because it's got similar features, but they've got more roller coasters. We'll, we'll find out. Again, I've never been to this one yet. So we're just kind of chilling, waiting for the kiddos to get ready, and then we're on our way. park here at Six Flags America. It's pretty big, about the same size as Darien Lake. Now remember, Darien Lake is in our neck of the woods where we live in New York. But so far, it's been kind of a little disappointing. They haven't really done any of the waves. Um, and our cabana, this is our cabana. We got a cabana. We Apparently the wave pool is not running so I don't know so far I don't know I might give this place a three out of five stars like well we still have to go do the roller coasters right so we're gonna change and we're gonna go do some roller coasters but I'm gonna compare this because they're both six flags. Same exact ride, only it's flip-flopped. So instead of going to the left for things, it goes to the right when you come down the hill. So, but it was fun and, and we basically walked right on. There is nobody here today. Excuse the messy hair, but yeah. So it is kind of dead here today and we're enjoying the whole just getting right on to rides. It's been kind of awesome. Yeah, which is crazy, yeah. You never get to do that at like Disney or, well, depending on the time of year at Disney or at R6 Flags. But there's, there is a good chunk of rides closed, which, whatever. Sammy really wanted to go on the Superman and this was his first time and he went on twice. So he's super happy about it. But there's lots of awesome coasters that are open. So we've done about four or five now. My crazy kids going on the lasso. So we don't have a selfie stick right now because it's in the backpack up there, but mama got hurt. So welcome back to, I guess, little snippets of Melody. Because <laughs> my mom is trying to get her miles in and she can't really do it because her foot hurts. So we are leaving right now because we, it sucks here. <laughs> I, I mean, like half of the rides were closed and then we had, me and my brother had to wait in a long line for like 30 minutes and then I closed. But other than that, I mean, I like, the people here are also good. <laughs> the community is good and everything. I just hate the rides. Ooh, but we did do the Superman and congrats to me because he did the Superman twice, first, first time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, so, oh, the end we are on right now. We're leaving, we will talk to you later. So we had to leave the park a little early. Yeah, not too, not that early. I mean, it closes at eight. Oh, I don't remember. I know. It, so we're not missing too much, and it's a smaller park, so it's not like we didn't get to everything. 
they did want to do one more wooden coaster, but apparently, according to Melody, if you saw Melody's little snippet there, they didn't get to do it. But also, Mommy hurt her foot. Yay. So we had to take a little detour and find some place to eat because we were not paying that much money in the park for food. But, Eight dollars for two beignets. Yeah. Uh, I didn't you know, know how much, I just know it was He's fun. just joking. <laughs> so now we are here at, what is this? Smoke, Smoky, Smoky Bones. Bones. And I can't wait to try this food because we haven't had barbecue yet on this trip. So it, barbecue's awesome. All right, so our food is here. I got the pulled pork platter with a baked potato and some coleslaw. Cause when you have pulled pork, you have to have coleslaw. What did you get, Sammy? Sammy, did you? Um, so I got these chicken mites. I already ate three, it's amazing. But now I'm trying them in chicken. Okay. Or mustard. Is that good? Do you like yeah. it? Yeah. And I need to try the mac and cheese. Yes, try the mac and cheese. Uh, got a good cheese bowl. Ah, oh, perfect. This? Mm. Good? Good. Yeah. All right. Ellie, what about your, re your food review? Mac and cheese with onions on it, and I asked for the pulled pork on the side. Did you try any of it yet? Oh, yeah. It was good, right? Mm -hmm. okay. And Daddy, what did you get? Uh, grilled barbecue chicken with onion straws with sweet potato fries. Awesome. All right, time to dig in. Decided to sit out and make a fire tonight. Although it is quite muggy, yes? It's muggy. Yeah. Slightly buggy. It rained here at some point. Just a quick shower, but enough to make it gross. We've been having this problem all week. Also, yay, this happened. I mean, I mentioned it when we were at the restaurant, but yeah. Um, I'm so upset right now. It's not even funny. But I am just going to... I guess tomorrow is going to be a relaxed day until we go to our next event thing that we're supposed to be doing, which is just medieval times. So, and tomorrow's basically our last day here. So, Sammy, you going to do a, you going to sit with the fire? <coughs> is that a yes or a no? Mm, I'm going to grab a chair. Sammy, what kind of fire is that? TP. What kind of other ones are there? Log cabin and a... A lean-to? What's the lean-to look like? Uh, where all the logs are at an angle. Log. So you have one log here, and all your other logs are here, and you build the fire in between. Oh, and okay. log catches all four of them. Nice. I find that the, uh, for myself personally, the log cabin works really well for cooking because you get a nice hot bed of coals. This one's good for Sitting. In a sitting fire, yeah, because the flames get high because it follows where the, the fuel is and it goes to a TP or a tip. Yeah. All right, everyone. So I am actually going to leave you on that note. So that I'm going to finish here. We're, we had a good day, but it was kind of a rough day. And now I'm just going to go and hang out for the rest of the night. And we will meet you for tomorrow for our last day in Washington. Welcome back, my little adventurers, to our last day here in Washington, D.C. Today has been a kind of a chill day. We have been exploring and just kind of doing the pool, uh, mostly because my foot hurts. And it's been nice to just kind of relax for a little bit. Tonight we're going to go do uh, Medieval Times. I'm excited about that, so I can't wait to bring you along for that as well. So, why don't you join us while we go swim in the pool? Oh, you want to see something? Sure. What are you going to do? What are you doing? You going to go get those? Yeah? All right. I got two. Woohoo! I got it. Woohoo! Oh, go. Good job. Hey guys, I just got out the pool and uh, um, and we're gonna do a cool transition to medieval times. So we'll see you there.
we are waiting for medieval times right now. Because why not? We're early. Yeah. So we're, we're walking early. around the mall. We're walking around the mall right now because we're really early. And me and mommy are angry because the pre mark is closed. Oh. Yeah, they're not done with it, which makes me angry. Makes you angry? How angry? Million, batillion, quatillion, angry. Um, okay. I think we're gonna go into the pie boat level if we find it. If there is, I can't remember. It's a pina colada. Ugh. So I'll take that. Mm. All right, well. around the gift shop, we got our drinks, we're just kind of waiting now because dinner doesn't, you don't get to go in for dinner until about 20 to 15 minutes beforehand. I think, what did you get, Sammy? Show them. A blue raspberry We got here early because that's what we do. Um, it is now 6.12. But it's, I mean, it's fine. I'd rather be here early than late. And it actually gives us time to relax. I'm trying to get my steps in, even with the bump foot. Um, so it's just, just normal. I'm just kind of relaxing and waiting for everything to happen. We got, like I said, we got our drinks and waiting to go in. So come join us. Guess what I got? Margarita. What is it, Sammy? Margarita. I got it. Baby it's baby's margarita. margarita.
this Dark Horse of Castilla. that's it, my friends. Our last day here in Washington and the end of our trip. It's actually a pretty good trip. I was very happy with how it went, despite, you know, the, some of the issues with the daughter person. I love her, but you know, she has her issues. And, I mean, who doesn't, right? So I wasn't upset about that. But we had so much fun doing the monuments, doing the bus ride, riding all those trains. Um, my kids had so much fun doing the metro. I, I don't know, understand why that was such a big deal, but maybe because it was air conditioned. <laughs> but it was hot while we were here too. But we had fun doing the, the museums, um, doing Six Flags. Six Flags was fun. Uh, Six Flags America, I would recommend to anybody who lives in this area. It's a smaller park, so you can do it all pretty much in one day. They have their water park with Hurricane Harbor. You can rent cabanas. You can um, you can rent chairs and things like that. Go on a weekday. It's a little slower. That's what we experienced. I'm so mad that I hurt my foot, though, because if I didn't hurt my foot, I would have rode so many more rides. But I'm so happy I was able to actually get to ride. I, I'm sorry. I was so excited to be able to ride Superman with Sammy and do some of those other roller coasters. Oh, my favorite was the Joker because it's a launching coaster. Oh my god, I love launching coasters. <laughs> I mean, I go to Disney World. Rock and Roller Coaster is like my top, one of my favorite rides ever. So, but I will say that if you get a chance, if you live in this area, go go to go to Six Flags America. It's it's not that bad. Um, if you could probably get through the whole thing in one day, but you definitely give yourself a day or two so you can experience both the water park and the rides. And then today was just a nice chill day with the pool and then medieval times. What a great show. Loved it. The food was amazing. The show itself was great. The entertainment was amazing. I mean the staff. Uh, and it, it really price wise it wasn't that bad either. They actually have medieval times and pretty much 
a good chunk of the United States and there's one in Toronto, Canada, which at some point, maybe we will go to that one. We are actually slated to go to Toronto to see a Blue Jays game so I can cross another one off my list. Oh yeah, the Baltimore game. The fact that I got to cross another stadium for my baseball thing off my list and I don't have to do, I have to, I don't, I don't have to go back to Baltimore. <laughs> I don't have to. The baseball game was great. The fans there were next level. I'm I'm so glad we left early though because watching them lose was just gonna be stinky. But I'm glad I was able to actually cross that stadium off my list. Today, it, I mean, this whole trip has been a wonderful trip, even with the little hiccups we've had. Remember, so I'm glad, I'm glad that you guys have been following along with us. Remember, if you're enjoying these videos, always hit that like button for me subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss another one of our adventures. Remember, life is short. Go have your own little adventure. Bye!